So we're going to revisit uh, reserving pins and ports today um, if, as you're defining interfaces. So um, I'd like to take a minute here and just discuss how signals are set up. So notice that um, we have a dependency matrix here showing generalization relationships. And so you can see that negative 3 volt DC is a special type of DC. But I've also set up a meta chain here that basically hops one level to your first order generalization and then looks at the implied ones. And so you can see that the electricity, so if you had a logical level port that just you were flowing electricity, it can legally flow all the DC signals as well as AC. And so this is the inheritance type tree that we have as we basically specialize our way down to more and more specific signals. Note the only thing that can legally flow secure message one is secure ethernet and it's set up that way on purpose. And so uh, just keep that in mind. And then here's a second um, dependency matrix that is showing uh, what signals flow over a given type of interface block. And so this basically is a uh, set of meta chains. Uh, one is just going to the flow property and type, and then the other one is going from the flow property to type to the general classifiers. And so note this again shows that DC ports can flow negative 3 and positive 3 volt DC as well as DC signals, whereas the negative 3 volt DC port can only flow the negative 3 volt DC signal. So again, that's for error checking. And we have a similar thing here with a table showing that um, the, again, the same information. So again, we do a lot of our work in tables and matrices, and this is how you can double check that you have things set up. Notice I haven't defined um, a uh, data flow property, so you know, this helps you find gaps, and that sort of thing. So we've discussed how to use the reserved port type to uh, characterize uh, pins that are undefined on purpose, but how do we handle a port that is defined that's purposely left unconnected so we don't hurt our metrics? Uh, so what I've done in this case is we have an Ethernet port here on block one that we decided we're not going to use. I've put a dummy port basically on the boundary here uh, with the reserved port type, and I'm just going to connect it up. I'm just going to connect the two and note that the reserve port flows electricity and data so it legally can flow uh, the ethernet because it can flow data and so when I connect that up uh, no errors no problems and then if I wanted to release this diagram uh, and I didn't want to make this confusing I can just hit the delete key and drop that off the boundary and so now the diagram looks nice uh, my port metrics are okay because the Ethernet port is connected to something intentionally. Uh, the trick is just remember to go back later and disconnect it. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you want to be able to find what ports are available in your system, you could run a query on, you know, show me every port that's connected to a reserved port. So just a simple, straightforward way to, to, to be able to connect reserved ports up uh, so that if you run a metric on unconnected ports uh, intentionally, uh, you know, kind of this page left blank, uh, on purpose, uh, metrics don't hurt you. So that's the most straightforward way I found to uh, resolve that. Again, the trick is to remember to go back and delete those connectors when you actually go hook it up to something for real. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.